recently invited to the screening of the movie The Cave Fight. The movie was hard hitting and I loved it. So here I am today in conversation with Urvasi Iran. Urvasi, can you please uh, share with the audience what is The Cave Fight all about? The film is about primarily the dilemma that Kasab, being the lone surviving terrorist of the 2611 attacks on Mumbai, poses in front of us as Indians and as human beings at the world at large. Okay. What is the one element that created a driving force for you to go ahead and make this uh, Actually, I'm quite surprised at myself to make such a politically and socially charged film. And uh, the, the idea, in fact, the script was brought to me by my dad, who is the producer of the film, so Rabi Rani. And um, the script is by Farooq Dhondi, a very close friend of my dad. And as a producer, I would say, again, a producer plays a very important role. He was a producer with a vision and felt that that's a film that needs to be made. Uh, once that script was brought to me, I um, initially was a little hesitant about it because uh, I'm not really a very political uh, director or not a very political person or have very strong views on that. But it's interesting that once I kind of uh, read it repeatedly and uh, made it my own, I really found the genius of the writer, that's Farooq. I found um, the depth of uh, what the film could say. And I felt what excited me as an artist, I would say, is that the film was not limited to the 2611 attacks. It was not limited to the dilemma of Kassab. Of course, it is about that. It's primarily about that, but it was not limited to that. And therefore, as an artist, um, that's something that excited me, that I could explore uh, greater questions and reflections on terrorism and uh, the contemporary times today, the problems that we face. And I think that's something that really made me want to make the film. Uh, there is a use of red color all through the movie. Also, it's quite significant on the poster. So is there, uh, is it for aesthetic or is it for a symbolic reason like that you've used this color? Well, I feel that the three colors of black, white and red are uh, very symbolically important to the theme of the film. And of course, they are aesthetically strong and powerful. Uh, of course, black and white is the moral play of the theme of the film that's taking place. And red, I feel, is a very strong uh, aftermath or an effect of that moral play of that evil that takes place. And I think very, very importantly, in the title of the film and the poster of the film, uh, we have the play of these colors. And it's interesting that um, the poster really came to life uh, when I kind of, uh, I think, froze on that concept that I want to use black, white, and red. And that's when I think I was really satisfied with uh, what I've come out with because that's, I think, at the core of the three emotions and the aspects that the film uh, thematically is trying to portray. And so, yes, they are very important uh, to the experience of the film and the uh, theme and aesthetics of the film, yes. Uh, the character Asab, I think, is based on uh, Kasa. So how easy or difficult was it to find an actor to play the most detested man of Mumbai? Um, in this film, I would say that the actor presented himself before the character. And I was conducting a course for the Chekhov acting technique, which I introduced to India, in which Sanjay Nath contacted me. And um, I was, of course, very impressed with his sincerity and him wanting to learn a technique where the artist is liberated by the tools that are offered to him. Um, but what was very interesting, of course, was that he had an uncanny resemblance to Kasab. And therefore, when I was making my film, uh, when I was reading the script, I already had uh, Sanjay in my mind and in my mind's eye. And uh, I think a, a perfect casting, uh, a little elder version of uh, Kasab, but I think a perfect casting. So, yes. Uh, the plot is uh, fictional. However, it's quite controversial at the same time. So, were there ever any apprehensions before you went ahead with the movie? To start with, the film is fiction and uh, it's not a documentary or it's not claiming to be fact. Um, in fact, what's very interesting about the treatment or a, a film like this is that it starts with uh, a very real uh, 
aspect or element of contemporary society, an event that has taken place. And then with uh, fiction, we reflect upon, we kind of explore uh, this very fact. And in fact, a lot of Iranian new wave cinema, Kirostami, I find that aspect very fascinating, where uh, there is in fact many times a kind of a blurring between the lines of fact and fiction. And you use fiction to really understand reality or fact. And uh, I think that's my humble attempt of what I've tried to do in this film and uh, in fact is very exciting.